Green Arrow, uh, this year 17, uh, Benjamin Percy writing Otto Schmidt on the art. This follows up from the end of the last issue where Malcolm Merlin killed uh, the Chief, uh, which yeah. was heartbreaking in and of itself. Uh, so it takes us on from there. And this is kind of reverted public opinion again on Green Arrow. Everyone mm-hmm. kind of hates him again because, again, he used an arrow, it looks like him, so on and so on. Uh, and it all, it all kind of leads to, like, uh, obviously, what's, what's his name? The, the Broderick, like, the mayor finally uses his thing. Dominic. that all he, get, yeah. all he gave him. For, tries tries to use it. Okay, tries to use it and gets caught <laughs> like a chump. By Broderick. And then is yeah. sacrificed to some sort of god or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, That's what that was supposed to be, right? He was being sacrificed. He wasn't just being branded... As like property of the ninth circle. It, that's what there it looked was like, like to an me. Altar. Yeah, that's what it looked yeah. like to me. It looked, it looked like... more like an okay. altar, but I'm not sure because I'd have thought maybe they'd want him in place as the mayor and use him. Uh, yeah. yeah, it felt weird that they spent all this time getting him to be mayor. We find out he's been elected, and now because we we only actually see them doing with the, the the cattle prod branding. Yeah, and then that's it. So it is more. Yeah. I'm wondering if it is more not a sacrifice. It is more just that of hey, look, yeah. we own you now. You have yeah. to do what we say. Mm. We your mark is is. Our mark cool. is on you. All right, and this is what I'm loving about Percy is just like every time you think Ollie has it together, he just pushes him down another flight of stairs. Yeah. And mm. here he thought that he had Domini up against the wall, and he had to do it. And then Broderick's just like, "Nah, that's it's not gonna work. You, what are you doing, you fool?" And yeah. and then on on top of it, you get a great interchange with Merlin and and Ollie over the the entire issue. You know, and you get yeah. their motivation. Well, Ollie's motivation and, and Merlin for what he does, you know. Like, there's that whole, was it this issue or the last? Sometimes they start to run together where he talks about how he used to go hunting with him. And it was like a challenge. Uh, this one? Well, this issue had, he was talking about how he used to hang out with Tommy. That, that was definitely this yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it all sort of, Merlin eventually comes to the forest uh, where all these sure bases set up, and the they have some traps set up. You know, Emmy sets some traps off and so on. Canary has another point. She does some stuff. It all, mm. all sort of boils down to a fight, though. And all he wins. All he actually gets him down, and he's about to stab him with an arrow in a fit of rage over everything he's done. And yep. we get the weird plot twist where Diggle hits Ollie. and is like, "I can't let you kill him, Ollie. Sorry, I owe this man my life." And he carries Merlin off into the. <laughs> Went to the wall. And I kind of went, ugh. But, I did too, but with Percy, I've learned to trust him and go, yeah. there's something. Yeah. This is the same thing we were talking about earlier. You have to wait and see yeah. what the story it's, is. But my initial gut reaction was, well, ugh. So, did you notice they also, he also tied it into Emmy's story with Shadow that Broderick says that he has a connection in Japan mm, Yeah. that, that is that, no longer there. I think the Diggle thing is like... It is so out of left field. Like nothing, there, there yeah. is nothing that implies he is anyway untrustworthy, or that he had ties to anyone. It just comes uh-huh. out of complete nowhere, which may be fine in the long run because they'll explain it and they'll say this is what the tie was and this is well, why. And... But it feels he cheap didn't... in this moment. Yeah. All he did was stop Ollie from killing him. Like he is not like he told him you can't capture him. So those kids still end up with Merlin being captured and whatnot. He just all he can't kill him. It feels like he's taking him away, so I don't think he's going to be captured there. But yeah, uh, for whatever reason, Diggles him a debt, and I'm sure we'll find out why. But yeah. it, it did come out like complete, and it's a, it's almost a shame because I, this was easily my like overall favorite arc of this book, and it's just yeah. uh, this this is kind of a really weird ending to it. See, I yeah. thought Ollie was going to kill him, and it was going to cause problems. Like Emmy would have been like, "Yeah, we're on the same page." Right, and but then everyone Dana. else, <laughs> yeah, but everybody else there on team, and that, that almost would have worked then, even to still have Diggle being like, No, he owes his life, but in the aftermath, it's like the guilt yeah. of hang on, maybe I should have done something, right? Hmm. But and then, then you would finally get to see Tommy Merlin show back up, you know, yeah, potentially. We, mm. We've teased him the last couple issues, and we still might, but uh, another interesting thing that it seemed like Ollie was flirting with the news. Well, the news lady was definitely... Yeah, I don't think he was flirting with her. She was flirting with him. 
Yeah. And she like, oh, so are you and Black Canary like exclusive? And mm. he's like, because he shoots her down immediately. It feels like he yeah. is like, no, no, no. Well, um, I, mean. I, I felt like he was kind of teasing, not teasing or flirting, but kind of leaving it open so he could get more info out of her, you know? Kind of yeah. just like that playing well, around. It, it, it's going to be and, his press ally yeah. for information. Like, that seems yeah. to be, it'll be an ongoing thing. But. Right. I, I, until Merlin stabs her through the heart as well. Until, until Merlin oh. stabs her through the heart. Uh, but of course, what she finds out at the end, though, all, all these, like, she finds out the history of the city and that it was built on a star and it's setting up the whole, it's going to, Seattle's going to become Star City. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not in name. So like, as a fan of that city, I don't like, but in storyline, like, storyline terms, I think that's awesome. Because oh, it's yeah. just, it's, I'm it's like, a pentagram this is, star. This is completely not... goofy. And yeah, like I say, it's a pentagram. It's like, but I, I have to see what Percy does with this. I just have to. Yeah. I, know, I, I am excited that they're, they're actually going to give Green Arrow his like, Star City. That's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's that classic moment where she's drawn a pentagram on the map. It's like, it was built on a star. Yep. Yeah. So, I, I, I mostly enjoyed this issue. Uh, it's been a really great arc. It's just that, that twist yep. with Diggle is really just out of nowhere and weird. Yep. Well, I, I tried to turn the page and there's no more pages to turn. So, because I thought there was a a twist on top of the twist yeah not so much I mean we've we got uh, Roy Harper next issue and I mean, obviously we got a few th- references to that with Emmy in this one well, that was yeah, kind of cool yeah, cause, it was a tough burden to bear yeah because all, all he's like I don't want to say kick of the water approach you and she's like wisely like, oh it didn't work out very well so they're, they're sort of teasing that that history is there and so when Roy shows up next issue, and maybe maybe that's why the the tying it like this, why Percy's putting them in the next couple issues, is because yeah. it's going to tie into him accepting that Emmy can be the new Red Arrow. So this interaction, I, I with, think that's the aim. Yeah, yeah. Like it'll be them coming to terms with each other and not completely fixing, but at least starting to fix their relationship. Yeah, yeah. 